The dance notation system that we are using in this project is called Laban notation. Laban notation has a series of symbols that relate to the body and also denote where body parts go in space, time, and duration. So by reading a score in Laban notation, one can perform a dance that was notated similarly to the way that someone can perform a piece of music that was notated in music notation. In Kinescribe, you can import scores from Laban Writer files and you can create your own. This is a score that was made in Laban Writer. And what I can do is I can zoom in and I can continue working on it just as if I had created it in Kinescribe. When you have a multi-page score, you can scroll through and this will give you more of an ease of using these scores in the studio. The way that you access these files is just through the sync function in iTunes. You can also create your own scores. We have a symbols palette that includes many of the symbols from Laban Writer. You can determine the level, and you can move them around. Zooming allows you to get a very fine amount of detail. You're also able to make the symbols themselves larger and smaller while you're working on them. Also in Kinescribe, you can assign different colors to different symbols, so that if I wanted to only emphasize the arm gestures, I can give the arm gestures a color. All of the symbols in Kinescribe respond to the changing color palette. In this score, I might want to emphasize the arms. In another score or in a motif, I can turn any of the symbols, any of the colors on the color palette. This sort of thing is very helpful as a teaching tool when you want to emphasize to students one thing to perform or another. The default background on Kinescribe is this graph paper to harken back to Laban Movement Notation's beginnings in writing on graph paper. But if you don't want the graph paper, you can turn it off. I can lay a floor plan to show where the dancers are in space. And I can assign who is there. If it matters whether the dancers are men or women, or if the dancers are of an indeterminate gender. If I want to turn the way these dancers are facing, this dial allows me to do that. If I want to denote which dancers are facing which way on the staff, I place this front sign which similarly shows the direction. And if I need to get rid of this symbol, I can just delete it. Similarly, if one of these dancers is not there anymore, I can just delete them. If at any time I need help, I just click on this help button and I am taken to the Kinescribe website which has up-to-date instructions and help information. To save a score, just click on the save icon and you can resave it as the same name or you can retitle it. It will then appear in your score list.